Good afternoon. This is Steve Raleigh. I'm here with you again to uh, share a devotional with you as part of this uh, time of quarantine and separation from all of our friends and loved ones. But before I begin, I just want to point out my shirt that I'm rocking today. It's the Team Gary Bell Fighting Pancreatic Cancer shirt. And I just want to put in a, a plug for our brother Gary and tell him we love him and just tell him that we're praying for him every day. Okay, as far as my thoughts for today, Pastor Mike again asked me to, or told me that I could speak about anything that was on my heart. And uh, in terms of spiritual matters, I decided that, uh, uh, that to talk about what I know best, and that is addictions. I've been going to the jail and teaching 12-step and other classes for about 18 years now. It's been an amazing experience. When I first felt the Lord's call to do this, I volunteered, but knew nothing about 12 steps. I had to Google it to begin my education, but I did it, and I taught them, the drug and alcohol addicts, that is, for about five years before the Lord revealed an amazing truth to me, one that only then was I able to accept and understand. You see, I realized in a moment of clarity that I too was an addict. I was one of them. The difference was my addiction was socially acceptable and even encouraged by the world, especially here in the USA. And, my friends, I say this with all love and compassion and no condemnation whatsoever, that you too very likely have some forms of addiction in your life. Now, before you turn this video off in anger, saying I know nothing about what I'm talking about, please let me explain myself. The best way I know to do this is to give you the definition of addiction that I love and believe to be the best one I've ever read. Addiction is the habitual use of any substance or activity that prevents us from leading the life God intended for us to live. After hearing this, I ask you, are you fully walking with God in your daily life to the extent that if you ask Him, He would say, no, I wouldn't change a thing about the way you are living. I know I can't say that, and I doubt if any of us can. Okay, if I have your attention, let me explain, explain this widespread addiction a little further. We, you and I, were born with a heart defect. Not a physical defect, but a spiritual hole in our heart. Something was missing. We were not whole. We were not satisfied. We were not complete, and we are not to this very day. No matter how hard we try, possessions won't fill this hole, nor will success. Relations alone cannot satisfy this emptiness, and morality in and of itself falls short of occupying this space. In fact, even religion cannot fill this void in our hearts. I lived with this emptiness for 55 years, but I sure tried to fix it. After I married, I quit trying to fill it with alcohol or drugs, but I went another direction. I wanted stuff, lots of it. You see, I grew up very poor. We didn't even have indoor plumbing in our house until I was 14 years old. So I set out to make sure that didn't happen anymore in my life. I worked my way through college and then worked seven days a week, 12 to 14 hours a day, trying to achieve and accomplish as much as I could, thinking if I only had, fill in the blank, whatever you think of, that I would be happy, I would be content. But a funny thing happened. Like a kid with 25 presents under the tree, I would open one, throw it over my shoulder, and start on the next one. No matter what I achieved or accomplished, it was never enough. I was never satisfied. There was always something bigger to go after. At this point, the Lord allowed some major events to happen in my life that I don't have time to go into today, but I almost died. And after my recovery, the Lord led me into jail ministry. It was there, uh, going back to the beginning of my story, that I came to the realization that I was addicted to possessions and achievements in life. I could go on and on about all of this, but I don't have enough time today. Let me say that I learned that we can be addicted to anything, anything, anything in life that, as the definition says, 
interrupts or prevents us from living the life God intends for us. A good test for this is to be completely honest with yourself as you answer these simple questions. What do I spend much or most of my time thinking about? And what do I spend my money on? I will leave you with those questions for now and ask that you pray that the Lord will reveal to you, as he did to me, what is preventing you from living this life to the fullest in the way that God intended for it to be lived. He told us in Jeremiah 29:11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I believe that this passage in Scripture and many others tells us that our Father wants us to have a full, complete, and holy life while we are on this earth but we can have that only by focusing on him and not to let the things of this life become a god to us. I hope you will join me again and talk as I talk more about the 12-step program and how it helped me to overcome an addiction that literally owned me and my entire life for far too long. Let us pray. Father, we just lift up anything in our life that's preventing us from leading the life that you intended for us to live. Help us to know what it is in our life that, that we need to work on, to fix, to, to put out of our life, or to at least reduce our obsession with, so that we can live the life that you created us to live. We thank you for this life. We thank you for all the blessings in this life, and we thank you for the, the many ways that you have blessed us throughout our lives. Help us to know and to understand your will and to seek that will and to do that will today and every day for the rest of our time here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.